Hi Aquarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am here to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of April 1st to the 8th, 2017. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe. Those of you that are not subscribed, please subscribe so I could respond back to your comments. Thank you, because I do love doing that. Um, so also just keep in mind if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you can look at your moon, your rising sign. Okay, Aquarius, this looks really nice. So your overall energy is the chariot. Um, I'm using Doreen Virtue and Riley Valentine's Angel Tarot. Um, just keep in mind, you know, no gender, private readings, that matters, not in the generals. And those of you that would like a private reading with me, all of my contact info is always literally right below the videos. So the chariot, ultimate victory and success card, an improvement, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. You know, it's, you're, you're gaining momentum this week, you know, and speed, you know, so there's swift action, movements of all kinds, you know, you're moving toward a goal, you're moving forward. Um, some of you could be traveling, you know, a new vehicle, you know, but any sort of, um, you know, could be a promotion, you know, some sort of, you know, award, you know, within the job place, but the ultimate victory and success card, love the chariot. Is a number seven too. Um, that's you know introspection, but you know being you know using your intuition this week too. Um, you know you also have the magician here too, and you know with the magician card, you know. You have absolutely everything that you need, you know, to move forward, to be successful, you know, to be creative. And you're ready to move forward down a new path, without a doubt. You know, you, you have absolutely everything you need to manifest this, to create this, new beginning, okay? And for a lot of you, you really are... Because we have the eight of wands here too. Like you're fixated on a plan. You have a goal. You know, and you're ready to move on this, you know, with the eight of wands. You're ready to, you know, take action and move forward fearlessly. Uh, whatever, whatever this is. Whether it's a new relationship, you know. Something within your career, job promotion, getting recognized for something. You, know, you could, I mean, you could even be starting. You know, the, the page of swords is definitely internet. You know, it, it is, it is communication. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, you're definitely um, there's communication coming in. You know, for some of you, you know, you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You know, it could be delayed, you know, communication. It could be delayed travel. You know, there's, it could, there's delays, you know, or changes to your plans. You know, the, the, the page of air, you know, can also represent, it is page of swords. I'm sorry about that. Um, it could also represent, you know, legal documents, you know, but social media, um, you know, I just feel like you, you know, some of you have some sort of really creative, um, passionate, creative idea that you're ready to take action on, you're ready to move on, 
but for whatever reason, it's delayed. Or you got, you know, there's delays in communication regarding the go-ahead, like you're all ready, but you just don't have the green light yet. You know, whether it's a new beginning, however it resonates for you, I just feel like you're definitely, it all, it all boils down to this communication that, you know, needs to come in that allows you to move forward down this new path. Messages from the fairies. All of the um, cards are by Doreen Virtue except for the love portion, but we'll get to that. Be honest with yourself. So with this card, you know, you're hiding your true feelings. And you're not being forthright about some sort of important topic, an issue. You're just not being truthful. And, and you, you are urged, you know, to admit the truth, you know, definitely you know, truth, clarity could be coming in for some of you. Listen, you know, if it's not you, it could be, you know, if, especially relationship related. If it's not you, it could be the person that you're thinking about involved with. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. Oh, my goodness. The pollen. I live in PA. The pollen. I have a white vehicle, and it's just, it, it's green right now. It's green. The pollen is, oh, terrible. Um, I'm coughing. My eyes are watery. I'm just a hot mess. But spiritually, I feel great. Other than, you know, that trippy, drooly crap. But anyway, um, yeah. You know, truth, clarity. But let's not forget, you know, the, the overall energy. You know, you are moving forward. Doing something. Uh, messages from the fairies. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. All right. So with this card, again, you know, it's the same as as this. You know, be honest with yourself. Um, you know, especially if it's in a relationship. Definitely talk to that person, you know, that you're in a relationship with, with both of these cards. You know, about your needs, your wants, your desires, and your boundaries, and your expectations. You know, um, what was I going to say? I hate when that happens. With, with this card, it, it just it, it it does serve as as an, an important reminder for you, you know, in asking, uh, you know, the universe, you know, you need to pray, you need to ask God, your angels, the universe, whatever it is for you, you know, just like a restaurant, you know, you, you put your order in. I know that sounds stupid, but seriously, um, you know, you need to to do that before anything can happen. But, but on, on the flip side of that, you know, this, this card calls for action. It calls for movement. It, 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 you know, there's no more procrastination, okay? So, oh, this card, sorry. So, you know, there, you know, we, we definitely see a process, you know, we're, you're you're moving forward. You're you're getting to where you need to be. This information, communication, you know, delays. You know, middle of the week, they're over. Wow, there's a card I don't see every day. Make a wish. The dolphins and the mermaids. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy the manifestation. And really, all there is to say about this is just be clear. Oh, beautiful. 
just like you're doing here, go into a quiet space, even if it's a closet. I'm serious. Make your wish to the universe. Okay? To the universe, God, your angels, whoever. In this card, it specifically you know, it says the universe. But um, be very clear on what your heart's desire is. What is, you know, if you had a genie in a bottle, what would be the one wish that you would ask to be granted? Be very clear. Because if you're unsure, all that's going to do is block the energy for the universe. It's divine timing. It's now. Guys, out of four cards, we have two major arcana cards here. What's under this? Strength. There's patience. A little, okay, a little bit of patience. You know, we see that. There's challenges. You know, you need that inner strength. Maybe a Leo's involved. It is who it is for you. Loving words from Jesus. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. John 16, 24. Those of you that want to pick up the Bible and read that first this week. Beautiful. Love and relationships. Angela Hartfield. Look at your pattern in relationships. Well, I just said this. I can't make this crap up. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So it's about that inner strength, too. You know, this week definitely with your wish, it has to do with love, take time to really look at the patterns, you know, in, in, in what drives you to attract this sort of person into your life in the first place. And then find the next person you meet will have almost the same exact, if not very similar qualities to the last partner. You know, that is what you're energetically attracting. You know, once you, how do I want to say this? Learn the lesson. That's when you're able to attract a more healthier outcome, a more healthier relationship. could be what you're, you know, manifesting. There's, you definitely, a lot of you, I, I see it very clearly, you know, with the Eight of Wands, the Magician, and the Chariot. You know, these three cards are, you know, movement cards. They're, it, they're cards of getting things done, taking action, you know, putting your ideas, your plans into motion and, 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 and manifesting and taking action on it. And that's what you guys are doing. A lot of you. And however it resonates. It's very powerful. It's a very empowering reading. Love and relate. Wow. A new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Beautiful Aquarius. And this new love is not going to be the same as the last. Right? Because you've changed your pattern. This is new. This is fresh. Some of you really could be traveling. Those of you that are married, stable relationships, definitely air travel. Wow. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. If you're waiting on that communication, Aquarius, you know, for maybe an air sign, Cancer, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Cancer, maybe a Leo. Um, yeah, let's get an overall additional guidance, messages from your angels, also by Doreen Virtue.
card. Oh, okay. These two flips up. That's what we're keeping. Two cards flip up for a reason like that. Okay, Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in your life and others. You're a healer like me. Well, you know, some of you really could be dealing with the Leo. This is my Leo card. Um, but I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Moving forward, you're definitely, you know, toward peace of mind, happier times. You know, even though sometimes it, you know, it could feel chaotic and, and, and very, um, what's the word am I looking for? Hasty this week. You know, this could be a very hasty energy. So could the, you know, page of air. That hasty energy, the hasty communication, you know, very quickly, very suddenly. But it's all good. You know, others of you that are struggling, that there's healing. You know, you're being divinely guided. You know, like I said before, you know, with the clarity, I do feel that coming through. I mean, that's some pretty bright light right there. Um, you know, you may even have, you know, have even, you know, um, healing spiritual gifts to yourself where, you know, you help other people. You're just good at, you know, healing them, whether it's emotionally, you, you get what I'm saying. But um, there's peace. There's new opportunity and a smoother road ahead. Beautiful. Okay, Aquarius, thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Um, I hope the messages helped you guys out for the week. Thank you guys again for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Guys, have a beautiful, blessed week, and I will see you guys back here 